What's cracking, y'all? You are now watching Boo TV. Appreciate you for stopping in. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, stay notified, and let's get into the topic for today. What up, what up, what up? Back with another one from the T-Mac, a.k.a. Tracy McGrady Vault. Go check out our Tracy McGrady playlist. I will continue to put respect on Tracy McGrady's name on this channel. I think he constantly gets overlooked. He's one of those players that could have had a better career, but he was derailed with back injuries more than anything else. While Kobe, while Trace McGrady was in his prime, he was widely considered as one of the best players in the league, if not by some, the best player in the league uh, at some time during his prime. People forget the barbershop talk back then was Kobe versus T-Mac, Kobe versus T-Mac, Kobe versus T-Mac, that was that was the conversation before Kobe versus LeBron. All right, that's that's just the facts. Kobe, uh, T-Mac was one of the best players I've ever seen and one of the best scorers I've ever seen. And Tracy McGrady was a very underrated passer and playmaker. Kobe, uh, Tracy, McC Kobe. Tracy McGrady, Tracy McGrady, in today's NBA would absolutely terrorize people because Tracy McGrady was a monster from the three ball with the lazy eye, not even sweating, just pulling up from three. Before Steph Curry was pulling up two or three, four feet behind the line, people forget Tracy McGrady was doing that. Trust me. And I'm not no T-Mac fanboy like that. I used to hate Tracy McGrady as a Kobe Bryant fan, and I lived in the Orlando area, so I was constantly around T-Mac fanboys and uh, Tracy McGrady propaganda and all this stuff. And I got tired of fighting these T-Mac fans but at some point, you come to respect the players like that was a bad mofo. I mean, T Mac would just lazily just shoot, stroke, beautiful shot, pull up, isolation, feet behind the line, fade away. That dude could score from anywhere at six foot eight. And I will continue to put respect on T Mac's name. He's one of those what if players, but still, everything considered, he had a pretty good career while he could last in his prime. All right, so this game uh, happened in the 2003 2004 season against the Cavaliers. This would be LeBron James' rookie year. Tracy McGrady was lighting the ass up. I, I think Tracy McGrady had 34 points in the first half, connected on eight three-pointers in the first half, and ended up with 36 points because he got injured later in the game. So he ended up having like 36 points in like 25, 26 minutes before he left the game. But T-Mac was capable when he gave a night of explosions like that. He, he could have had 70 that night. And the day he scored 60 points against the Wizards, T-Mac could have had 70 then. But he was strangely missing a lot of free throws. Anywho, I'll shut up. Let's get into these highlights and watch some prime T-Mac in action. That one as both guys, Tracy McGrady and LeBron James, stepped up and provided us all with an extra Christmas present on Christmas afternoon. T-Mac, you can tell right from the beginning, he was very, very far and up and into the basketball game as he tried his best to outdo LeBron, but LeBron said, no, no, you're not going to get away that easily. And it was on after that. Both guys were making just tremendous play after tremendous play, both inside, both outside making threes, driving to the basket. Here, T-Mac gets a chance for a three-point play. Maybe LeBron the shot behind the, the backboard. Right here by LeBron. It was impressive. Boy, it went up high and came right down through the net. Even Tracy McGrady was impressed with that. Fortunately, though, T-Mac had some help in the overtime period. It was Jawan Howard who scored the first eight points for the Magic in the extra period. And... The Magic came away with the win. Paul Silas thought it should have been a foul there. And then Tracy says, uh, let me just go on and make one more for you so you know that this is my house and I'm the man. And Tracy shows a lot of love for LeBron. I know it was a lot of respect gained uh, by LeBron James uh, for T-Mac after this game. And look at what they did head-to-head -head on Christmas Day. McGrady with 41 points, a double-double with 11 assists. He also had eight rebounds. And LeBron James, a special young man, 34 points. Ben Roy's a big crowd. Their average has really, really gone up. Nice job, Andrew DeClerc going to the basket. Andrew DeClerc. Without the ball. Shot clock is at one. And that's a three for McGrady. Shot clock was uh, at one. Set. So, I knew you were worried about that, wondering what was up, so I just you know, you put me to a challenge and I just had to check it out. So you went to your crack research. 
Brady has Boozer flying by. Oh man, oh, that's it's not like it was going to go. I didn't think it was going to go either. Three points. T Max got three field goals in the first period. All three. But Boozer shot the, the technical, and then Ogalskis got the two on the foul on the shot. There's three more. Right. Oh. Well, T Max comes off the bench from the fire. He couldn't wait to get back. Didn't he score a ridiculous amount of points in a high school game, like 100 or something? Oh, yeah. And the foul. McGrady with another three, his sixth man. of the night. Man, oh, man, that guy is pretty good. Look at him. Look like he's not even sweating out there. The, the foul is on Boozer. Take another look at this. Boy, oh, boy. I mean, this guy, he elevates so high. I mean, he gets up so high. I mean, just watch how high he gets up on this shot. And that's the one Boozer got him on the arm. Twenty-three for T Mac. Injury, he is done for the game. Cooking LeBron. Ugh. Three more for McGrady. Goodness gracious. I love watching that guy. Goodness. Man, oh man. Magic leading by six. James is defending McGrady. He gets deeper and deeper and deeper on every three-point attempt. Eight in the quarter, or rather in the half now. But Tracy McGrady is on fire inside the gun. Eight three-point field goal attempts by T-Mac tonight. Eight made three-point field goal attempts by McGrady. Eight for eight from behind the arc in the first half. Unbelievable. And he's, he's getting further away from the basket. I mean... Seems like everyone is a little bit further out. He's got 29. He didn't get his first points until halfway in the first period. Yeah, 604 left in the first quarter. Now he has 29. McGrady going inside, tossing it in over Elgaus. McGrady using a screen. Wagner picks him up. McGrady's jumper is good again. 33 points in the half for T Mac. Out of T Mac, indeed on fire. There is one. He was a perfect eight of eight from the floor until in the waning seconds he forced a knife to try to equal the Trail Sprewell's record of nine for nine in a single half. Tim Thomas, Michael Red, Ray Allen, and Kobe Bryant, the only men to have hit uh, eight in one half this year. I'm not certain if that is an in one year. It's best to not allow Tracy McGrady to steal the whole show. But T Mac has been so special in this one. And everybody in this building has to have been impressed with what they've seen out of Tracy McGrady. Yeah, it's a real question as to whether or not he's going to be. Yes. And finished eight of nine from behind the arc. Uh, those eight tying an NBA record for the most three and three. Uh, T Mac sure wanted to foul on that last uh, play. Off the screen, and McGrady drills it. Tracy McGrady. 36 points for T Mac. Well, here's where McGrady got hurt. It's that big toe. Uh, he came down awkwardly on it right there. It's that screen, uh, big toe on his left foot or right foot? I, I didn't left. left foot, I think it's been. Yes, yeah, so it's the same one. Ladies and gentlemen, T Mac, Tracy McGrady. I will continue. Throw some respect on his band's name because uh, every time people talk about like great scores, I was like, what about T Mac? What about T Mac? What about what about T Mac? What about T Mac? T Mac was a beast, bro. What if? What if the back didn't put him out sooner than he should have been out, man? What a, what a phenomenal, phenomenal player. And Kobe Bryant's been on the record saying that that was his toughest opponent was T Mac. And if you've watched the Kobe Bryant versus T Mac duels, they are fun to watch, and those guys. Go at it. Something you don't see in today's NBA. It's a different league now. Anywho, let me know what you think about it. What do you think of T-Mac? Was he one of your favorite players growing up? Or maybe not growing up. Depending on how old you are. But either way, I'd love to hear your opinion. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell. Stay notified. Go check out our T-Mac playlist. And I'll catch you on the next one. We out, baby.